most of it out of there. I don't see it coming out anymore. And we're actually able to pull this thing now. All right, so you went to start your machine and the pull cord just stopped in its tracks and you damn near pulled your shoulder out or your machine tipped upside down and now it's not starting and you're noticing that there's oil that's maybe seeping from the carburetor area or you pulled the plug and you have a fountain of oil coming out of the well. Um, basically that comes from the machine 90% of the time being put on its wrong side or upside down or whatever. I'm going to show you exactly what happened with this one. Now this mounts onto the back of a machine like that. This acts as a uh, vacuum and sucks up the leaves. So what had originally happened was this bar here that goes into the machine was broken. So I replaced the bar and I went to go take this back to the operators and I said, let me just check everything real fast while it's here. And I went to pull it and it almost pulled my arm off. It felt like the motor was seized up. So immediately I knew either A, so I went over here to spin the fan and that was spinning. Okay, so that was telling me that the motor was not seized up there. Uh, I came over here and pulled the spark plug, pulled the wire, and I took the plug out. And this is actually what the oil looks like coming out of it right here. Look at all that oil spitting out. And the reason why it was uh, stopping in its tracks is because it was filled with oil. It was just compressing in there and it wouldn't allow the, uh, the motor to turn. So I came over to the carburetor and I unscrewed the bowl and all this oil came pouring out. You want to uh, take the bottom of your, uh, unloosen this nut on the bottom of your carburetor bowl, pull it all the way down completely and just let that gas run and uh, dump out your bowl, don't clean all the oil out, but let that run until it's clear. If you got oil up in your, uh, your carburetor there, once it starts coming out clear and your bowl is clean, go ahead and put it back on with that nut on the bottom. And then another thing I noticed too, and um, this is you know why I'm really glad I went over this and not took it back, is I took off the air cleaner and um, you wouldn't believe the amount of grass that was in there. I'll show you. Now that doesn't have to do with the motor tipping over. That's just basically uh, lack of maintenance. But that's not healthy either because that grass does get down into the carburetor, into the engine, and it's just uh, it's a you know ripple effect. You start getting other problems. But if you're having oil spitting out of your uh, cylinder head there, chances are it was tipped on the wrong side. You're going to have to keep, uh, you can take that plug off and keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Get all that oil out of there. I took an air gun once I had most of the oil out, and I was spraying the air in there to get a lot of it, uh, a lot of it cleaned up and for it to come out. And then I put a, uh, a brand new plug back in. And I started it up and it smoked pretty bad. You can see what it looks like right here running and smoking. You can see it's smoking pretty bad there. So once you uh, clean everything out, you're gonna need to let it run for a good, you know, five, 10 minutes possibly, depending on how bad it was. This one was pretty bad. So I let it run closer to the 10, uh, just to burn all that oil off. It's a pretty simple fix, just time consuming. Take the carburetor apart, clean it all out. Um, Take your plug out and get all that oil out of the head there. And then uh, put her all back together and just let it run. It's going to have to work its way out. It's going to smoke for a little bit. But uh, if you're having that problem, that's possibly what happened. The machine was tipped upside down or on its side and the oil had gotten into places it's not supposed to. So uh, hopefully any of this helps out. If it did, hit subscribe below. Give me a like. See you guys next time.